All right, welcome everybody. Today we're going to look at a funky blues solo lesson. We're going to break down five licks separately, but these five licks flow so good together, we can create a seamless solo with just these five licks. So let's check this out. Alright, check this out. Everything I did in the intro was in a C blue scale. And just using this little extension of the next uh, pattern here. Alright, lick number one, sliding up to the 13th fret of the B string. Then pulling down from the 12th to the 10th fret of the G string. Just walking down the scale from there. But, but then the 10th fret of the G string, 8th fret B string, 8th fret G string. Then back to the root note here on the D string 10th fret. Check out my right hand, downstroke, breaking up. Sounds good with a slight bend there on that G string. That alone is a great lick. Lick number two, starting with the root. Hammering on to the root in the 10th fret of the D string. This is a great lick. Then pulling off. This adds a lot of flow. These little pull-offs and hammer-ons add really some good speed and flow to your solo. Now we're walking up the pentatonic for this third lick. All alternate picking there. you hit the, the, the upstroke of this last one, you sweep up to the next note. Check on my right hand. Walk up four more notes. Break up again. And just finish off with the minor seventh there. 11th fret B string. Now some pull-offs. Here, I like to use my fourth finger here, it's just easier for me to do it, but 11 to 8 on the B string. And an upstroke on the, the C note here in the 8th fret of the E string. I did it two or three times in the, in again, all these licks, there's not a lot of timing. You can hit these licks almost any at any point in the solo. So again, pulling off. 
then pull it, go down to that blue note there. Then breaking up again on this C note. Pulling off here, G string, 10th to 8th. The, this might seem tough to some of you to pull off that way, but this adds so much flow to a solo that you're doing, so you don't have to actually pick every single note, only when you really want to attack it. And the last lick, really a simple bend on the B string, a whole, a whole tone to the C note, 11th fret, and breaking up the C and the B strings in the 8th fret. Downstroke, breaking up. This lick is all over rock and blues. And then I added the, the bend of the 11th fret of the E string in there. All these add a lot of flow. And again, the timing of these, it really varies so much. You can have a lot of fun with this. You got something out of the lesson today because these licks are a lot of fun they they add some flow and speed to your solo when you pull off like that just practice these in pieces if you're struggling with with the bends and the pull-offs just take them one at a time I you know a lick a lick like this I I must have practiced hundreds and hundreds of hours and maybe sitting in front of the TV just practicing the full bend and then breaking up. If you can do it slow like that, you will learn to do it fast if you keep working at it. I, I, I promise you. So thanks again for hanging out with me and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.